Hello and welcome to the world of recipes. This is Vaishali. In our series of making cakes, we are making cakes for New Year's, we are making cakes for Christmas. Today I'll be showing you how to make carrot cake with the walnuts in it with cream frosting on the top. So quickly see the ingredients. Maida or all-purpose flour 300 grams, brown sugar about 400 grams, Freshly grated carrots, 125 grams, these are two small carrots. Roughly chopped walnuts, about 50 grams. Vegetable oil, 200 ml, three large eggs. Baking powder, 3 teaspoon, baking soda, 1 teaspoon, cinnamon powder, 1 teaspoon. To make frosting, we need 200 gram unsalted butter, cream cheese, about 100 grams. Icing sugar 250 grams and vanilla essence about 1 teaspoon. Let's start making cake now. First keep your oven for preheating at 180 degree Celsius or 350 degree Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. And then we are going to bake this cake for about 30 minutes. First mix this vegetable oil and this brown sugar together. We are using brown sugar here, this brown sugar has little more nutrients than white sugar but if you don't have brown sugar you can use white sugar as well. Now this brown sugar is mixed with oil nicely, it will take time to dissolve, till that time we will break these eggs one by one. All the three eggs are in now. Now beat the mixture nicely till it becomes fluffy. You can use electric beater for this purpose. Then the process will be faster. I am using it on the low speed. Now after 5 minutes of beating, the mix is ready, it's nice, it's all the granules from sugars are dissolved and the mixture has become light now. Now we are going to add all the dry ingredients together, all purpose flour, baking powder, baking soda and this cinnamon powder. Mix them together nicely. This is done. Now we are going to save this mixture in the egg mixture. Now we are going to save this mixture together in this egg and sugar and vegetable oil mixture. This will remove all the lumps from the powders. This is done. Now let's fold this maida in this mixture. Now this mix is ready. This is the consistency we have now. Make sure all the dried flour is incorporated in the mixture properly now this is done this is the consistency we have a dropping consistency now we are going to fold this freshly grated carrots in this and these walnut pieces also 
fold them nicely in the mixture In this batter we are not taking too much liquidy consistency. Now this mix is done. Now let's transfer it to the baking tray. I'm going to spray it with the baking spray. Nice one layer. It's done. Let it settle down. Now transfer this mixture to the baking tray. Now give it a gentle tap. That is batter spray. And now straight to the oven. We are going to bake this cake at the same temperature for about 30 minutes. My oven takes about 30 minutes to bake this size of cake. Every oven is different so you can check after 30 minutes and adjust accordingly. The cake is out of the oven now. Let's check it. The skewer is coming out clear. Let it cool down completely, then we'll remove it from the mold and then we'll decorate it. Until that time, we'll make our frosting. We're going to mix butter and this cream cheese together. I'm using unsalted butter here. Both butter and cream cheese should be at the room temperature. I have kept them out of the refrigerator for about 3 hours. Mix it nicely. I'm going to beat it with the electric beater so that it gets mixed evenly. Now this is done. I'm going to add this vanilla essence. About one teaspoon of vanilla essence. This gives nice flavoring to the frosting. And now I'm going to add this icing sugar in a portions and beat it again and add a little bit mix it nicely first so that when we beat it the sugar should not fly in the air Okay, next batch I will add now almost all the sugar is mixed with the butter and cream cheese now I'm going to beat it to get that smooth texture When you remove these blades from the mixture like this, 
most of the cream cheese and butter cream mixture will be stuck on the blades when you want to take out all this you have to take the blades out when it's moving i'll just keep it back inside and then again we'll start and take it out and see all the mixture is in the bowl now our frosting is ready and our cake is also ready now let's start decorating now this cake is completely cold now let's remove from the mold you can easily take out this mold and remove this lower plate also nice brown cake spongy cake now this top layer of the cake is little hard we have to decorate the cake so we are going to make it flat on the top so i'll remove this extra hard part first we can eat this part as it is it's very tasty as well remove this top in kind now it is almost flat now i'm going to cut this cake in two parts i'm going to make two equal parts be careful the portion should be equal on all sides i'm going to just rotate it like this and cut so that i get even cutting from all the sides i got two portions now and if you feel your borders are little hard you can just trim the borders like this I'm going to serve this cake on this plate so I'm going to decorate it directly on the plate now I'll take out this upper part I'm going to apply this layer of frosting in the center I'm going to put this second part and the first part and I'm going to apply this frosting all over make it even put nice layer of frosting over here now i'm going to put some flowers on the top i'm going to use this piping this star nozzle i'm going to use now i'm going to use this crescent nozzle Finally, I'm going to use the smallest nozzle to write a message. I'm going to use little darker color now. Let's write the message.
Isn't it looking lovely? This yummy cake is ready for our Christmas. Let's celebrate our Christmas. Thanks for watching this recipe. For more recipes, keep on watching World of Recipes.